BlackFacts.com presents, Native American Icons, Susan LaFleche. Susan LaFleche Picot was a Native American doctor and reformer. She is widely acknowledged as one of the first indigenous peoples, and the first indigenous woman, to earn a medical degree. She campaigned for public health and for the formal, legal allotment of land to members of the Omaha tribe. Susan LaFleche was born in June 1865 to Chief Joseph LaFleche and his wife, Mary on the Omaha Reservation in northeastern Nebraska. Her parents were culturally Omaha with European and indigenous ancestry and had lived for periods of time beyond the borders of the reservation. She attended school there until age 14. Her father encouraged his people to seek education and build relationships with white reform groups. After being homeschooled for several years, Susan was sent to the Elizabeth Institute for Young Ladies in New Jersey and returned home at age 17 to teach at the Quaker Mission School on the Omaha Reservation for two years. As a child, Susan witnessed a sick Indian woman die after a white doctor refused to treat her. This tragedy inspired her to train as a physician, so she could provide care for the people she lived with on the Omaha Reservation. While working at the Quaker School, Susan attended to the health of ethnologist Alice Fletcher, who was working there. She encouraged Susan to went back east to complete her education and earn a medical degree. She enrolled at Hampton Institute, one of the nation's first and finest schools of higher education for non-white students. The resident physician there, Martha Waldron, was a graduate of the Women's Medical College of Pennsylvania WMCP, and encouraged her to apply to the Women's Medical College. Once again, Alice Fletcher helped Susan by securing scholarship funds from the U.S. Office of Indian Affairs and the Connecticut Indian Association, a branch of the Women's National Indian Association. After only two years in a three-year program at WMCP, Susan LaFleche graduated in 1889 at the top of her class. She remained in Philadelphia to complete a year's internship, and then returned home to provide health care to the Omaha people at the government boarding school, where she was responsible for some 1,200 people. Susan LaFleche married Henry Picot in 1894 and the couple moved to Bancroft, Nebraska, where she set up a private practice, serving both white and non-white patients. Along with her busy practice, Picot also raised two sons and nursed her husband through a terminal illness. In 1906 she led a delegation to Washington, D.C., to lobby for the prohibition of alcohol on the reservation. In 1913, two years before her death, she saw her life's dream fulfilled when she opened a hospital in the reservation town of Walt Hill, Nebraska. Today the hospital houses a museum dedicated to the work of Dr. Susan LaFleche Picot and the history of the Omaha and Winnebago tribes. Learn Black History, Teach Black History at BlackFacts.com